And there's the bagels. First batch is done baking. They look so <gasps> good. Okay, next we're making pizza. I feel like sourdough sucks you in. We had sourdough bread for breakfast. We're having sourdough pizza for dinner. We're having sourdough bagels for lunch tomorrow. Hey guys, how are you doing? It's going really good at our house. Hope it's going well at your house. Solo's home today. Are you home for long? Probably not. Yeah, I am home for, well, I'll go work at the other house a little bit, but. Or work at the other house. Oh, you wanna be held? She's tapping my leg. Okay, look at this cutie. We are doing all the sourdough things. I never really got into sourdough. <laughs> Do you see Nessa and Noelle and the kitty? In 2020, a neighbor gave us. <laughs> yeah, you go talk to her. A neighbor gave us a sourdough starter, but we never really got it going well. I made a lot of discard stuff with it, but the timing of making the long sourdough bread is rough. Anyway, Judah and I were kind of playing around with some things with it. Back in 2020, when it was trending, or 21, I don't remember. Okay, let me take her out. I'll be right back. All right, she made me come outside. <laughs> I think Solo's coming out soon to play with her. I've been doing all the sourdough things this time because I was with Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone, Lisa Bass, and she, I asked her, like, can I have a bit of your sourdough? And she graciously gave it to me. And so hers is 12 years old. It is tried and true. Uh, she has tons of sourdough recipes online. She's like the sourdough queen. So that really, I was like, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna really do it. And then just a few days later, I was with a cousin who gave me a hundred year old one. So we have two sourdough starters. I've kept them both going. Uh, one's named Anna, Anna's 100, and one's named Lisa, Lisa's 12. And Lisa told me how she just never, she never has to discard and throw stuff away. So I have made sourdough skillet dinners. I've made a lot of, we've done Dutch babies, right? Number of times with sourdough. I've made sourdough crackers, which are super easy and smell wonderful and taste good. And then we've, I finally got into making the long process of the sourdough bread. And it is so good. I probably wouldn't keep it up if it wasn't for the fact that my family loves it so much. They don't even like my other homemade bread anymore, which they, wow. You have stickers all over you. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny found him. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. um, they, they, uh, they preferred my homemade bread to store-bought bread. Now they're like, the sourdough is so good. So their love for it is encouraging me to keep going, even though it's a long process. So what I like to do when I learn something new is I like to do it over and over and over. So that's what I've been doing. I've been making sourdough bread over and over and over. And the more I do it, the more it's... The less intimidating it is, the less it feels like a long, huge process, the more it becomes by rote, which is good. That's what I need. So yesterday I started some bagels. Lisa told me she does bagels a lot. They're very easy. And I've made bagels before. I did not find them to be easy. I found them to be hard to eat too, like real chewy. They're good, but I don't know. They weren't awesome, not worth the work. but. When I was with Lisa, I tried some of her bagels and they were amazing. And so it's worth the try. I'm trying those. So I'm going to boil and bake those here soon. I'll show you how that turns out. And I'm getting more loaves started. Every time I make a loaf, a uh, loaves, <laughs> it is four loaves at a time. So yesterday, the people that rented our RV for the first time, which that went amazing, at least on our end, they said they had a wonderful time. Everything went really well. They cleaned it up like we cleaned it for them, or if not better. It was. It was a wonderful experience. I sent them home with a couple loaves of bread. It's really nice to just have a lot around because, okay, we're so, <laughs> oh, go play with kittens. They're so cute. Yeah, very carefully. Remember how I taught you? Yeah. Don't hold their necks. Wanna pet him? Okay. Pet him. Mom, oh, she just wants mom right now. Good job, Seth. Okay, put her down. Put her down. Let her play. Oh, he's back. You want to sit with this child? <laughs> okay. 
So uh, when we eat sourdough bread, it's like we can easily eat two loaves in one sitting, no problem, because there's a lot of us. It's also nice to have gifts readily available for people. I do love that. People love to get a nice homemade loaf of sourdough bread fresh. So I want to keep going, get some in the freezer even, if I get plenty. So I've started another batch that will be done tomorrow. Is this like the, the loaves are like a almost two day process. It's intense. What? <laughs> Solo's eating lunch, and he's eating something we made yesterday on the the outdoor griddle. It was so good. It was a cheeseburger fried rice. I'll have to share that sometime because it was good. It's good, isn't it? You saw a sticker on your head. The griddle. Look at this guy. Mm, so cute. He is adorable. So Solo's been working on a lot of the house. Our older four have been away at camp. Everybody's playing with kittens here. The older four have been away at, ki at camp, youth camp in Colorado. They're having so much fun. Our younger seven have all been sick for like two weeks because it's five days each, so it takes a while. We have to highly supervise Seth with kittens. But they're finally, I think the last of them are finally near the end. It's been hard for them. So it's been kind of an exhausting week as usual, but we're making progress here, I feel like. With the garage, cleaning it out little by little, just getting our, our home in order. Our video went up today at talking about how we Took our house off the market, our other house, and we are just fixing up the carpet. We heard from a lot of realtors in that vlog, so that was encouraging and good uh, just to hear what you guys had to say. Looks like we're on the right track. We're just wanting to, um, our realtors have experience with, sometimes if they just lower the price for something that people aren't liking, they'll just keep getting the same complaints without offers, so it's better to just fix it up. So that's why we're going that route. It is what it is. I'm getting a better attitude about it little by little. She wants to be on camera today. Let me show you my bagels. Oh, well, here's some bread. We had some this morning. We saw these three loaves. And the bagels. And there's the bagels. They've just been rising in the oven with the light on only. I think they're ready to boil Wait, and bake. Uh -huh. We're going to use them for Sunday breakfast or lunch. Not sure. Maybe Wait, lunch. The oven's not hot? Ooh, they're heavy. The oven's not hot? No, it's not. It just has the light on. Aren't they pretty? I also fed Lisa and Anna this morning because I'm gonna make more of these. Noelle and I are boiling them. Very good. Slide it on the tray. I'm getting some salt on top. Ooh. We were gonna do these for breakfast Sunday morning, but I think I made some yogurt and granola. So we're gonna have that for breakfast. And we're gonna do bagels with cream cheese and salami. And maybe I'll stop at a store and get some arugula. Quick, easy lunch after church. First batch is done baking. They look so good. We can make them a little more beautiful, but I think they're pretty good. What do you think, Noel? They look so good. They smell good, too. We got another batch of these in the oven, and that'll be lunch tomorrow. I brought some treat for the chicken and the guinea fowls. And they're going crazy. The last couple of weeks has been really good. We've gotten a lot of rain and I can see we are getting back some water on the pond because this section was completely dry. So that's a very good sign. But one of the days we had such a bad storm and we lost some trees. Look at that. I gotta get a chainsaw down here and clean up all this mess. But we, we lost a really good sized tree here. Actually two of them. See that one is leaning on another tree, but it's uprooted on this side. And look at that big one over there. Here's a live tree. So this is actually a trail that it blocked. So we're gonna have to kind of get this one cut down into pieces. Also, we lost some dead trees on another side, on another tree also. We lost some dead trees as well. I guess that's something we're going to have to get used to doing with this many trees and clean it up soon. Yeah, this is the dead tree, one of the dead trees that we lost. It was, it's amazing, it stayed standing all this time, but... Yep, so we've got some cleanup to do. And there's, there's one other one that we lost in a different trail. But uh, everything else is looking good. The pond is starting to refill. I see some areas that were dry and parched. That has water now, so that's great. We're getting there. I'm all hot because I've, I've been putting in some time every day into our garage to try to organize it because it is full of stuff, full. 
from our move and it needs to be functional. So I've just put in almost an hour every day for three days and I'm just stretch and fold my sourdough and it's made a huge difference. I was gonna show you my new laundry routine here. As normal, the main part of my routine, which is do the laundry every day, is the basic part of my routine. It's wonderful, it works. A lot of times it's one load, a lot of times it's two loads, it kinda depends, once in a while it's three. I just pull it out right here. I used to take it and put it out there on top of the weights in our living room, but then I noticed it would sit and I wouldn't deal with it. But when I keep it right in the bathroom, and just fold it. I put piles all over here, put them away right away. A couple of my kids, three of my kids that fold and put away their own yet that are not yet doing their own laundry fully. I put them in their baskets here and then the little ones and Solo and I just make some piles and then as soon as I'm done, I put it away because we need to use this bathroom. So that has been working very well and there are no piles anywhere. Comes out of the dryer, folds, puts away right away put away right away, sometimes once a day, sometimes twice. Having less space for laundry is even better for making you do it every day. So if you have very little space, consider it a blessing. It makes you get it done all the way. Here are my piles. So I started a load, moved the washer to the dryer, folded all that stuff. The towels went right there immediately. Tori's, Eli's, and Noel's went right in there. They'll fold and put it away themselves. Peace, Seth, Destiny's, and Hope's I put away immediately. I'm taking some clean, stuff to the kitchen drawer and in our front hall closet where the dress clothes are I'm hanging this one dress that whole process took me five minutes so that means for my family of 13 I do the laundry in I mean it really is 13 but <laughs> I don't do all their laundry I do the laundry for 13 people in 5 to 15 minutes a day most of the time 5 or 10 and that's because my older four, when you turn a teenager here, you do your own laundry. <laughs> so sometimes I get their towels or something. I'm not supposed to, but it happens. And then that's my routine. I finally found her for this new house. Sometimes it takes a little bit. It's taken me a couple months, but folding it in the bathroom was the key for me. <laughs> I can't remember if I told you, but I did put Solo's laundry and my laundry on the stairs because it goes upstairs. So the next time I walk up there, I will take it with me. So I guess it wasn't completely finished, but that's close enough. Seth said a kitty wants me. He is still in his pajamas. Yes, we're doing the farm boy look here. Oh, <laughs> farm toddler. <laughs> oh, where is the kitty that wants me? What happened to those cushions? So I'll show you the garage. It probably won't look good to you, but it was, we were unable to walk in it. So now at least there's a clear path. I wanted to be able to get in here better to deal with the shoes and the coats and be able to, these are ra rolling racks. Clean up in there. Oh, so we can walk. Oh, Seth, do not grab the Oh, cat be careful, head. Seth. Oh, you're doing a better job all the time. Here, I'll hold that kitty. Thank you. This is Sue. Sue, say hi. Sue has a little white tip on her tail. So yeah, you can walk in, you can walk around, back to these this couch area, all those cupboards are full. There's homeschool stuff. There's two cupboards full of kitchen stuff, some homeschool material in there. Oh, so much storage and toilet paper. And then one hit, we had a freezer that did not close well last night. So trash pile to deal with. Oh goodness. And I'm telling you, it didn't look good. It doesn't look good, but I should have shown you it before. Couldn't walk at all. <laughs> so this is progress. Our goal soon is to get rid of this huge mattress pile. We have some covers for it. You guys told us about those. We bought those. Um, we need to move them to our other garage shed, but there's not room currently, so we have to clean that out first. But when those go, I'm gonna have a lot more space to work with. So you know the end of a move when you just start throwing everything in at the last minute. That's what happened here. It's real. And then it all got thrown over here because we were trying to get that house ready to sell. It's just like, oh, let's just shove it in and we'll deal with it later. So that's what the last three days have been, dealing with it later. And we have a whole nother shed to do. Okay, next we're making pizza. Ooh, okay, that's enough of that. Homemade pizza sauce. We just used some tomato sauce and a little sugar and spices. And lots of garlic. This dough, or the crust rather, is sourdough discard. So that's like free. Something I had sitting in the fridge. Another one of Lisa's recipes. I just poured it in that cast iron. It cooks up, pops right out, and it was just discard, s discard, salt. And then I put some different Italian seasonings on it and 
some garlic powder and onion powder. Oh, it smells so good. Now we're gonna bake that. I did it the opposite order, but I normally do because she said that when the sauce goes directly on the crust, it gets soft when it's red sauce. So I just did the cheese, pepperoni, and then the sauce. We'll see how that works. Uh, actually, I may, it's Parmesan cheese, but I may just add a little mozzarella on top too. Your pizza? This no, is gonna be your pizza. Pizza. It is so weird cooking for less people because Tori and Eli have been sick all week so they have hardly eaten a thing. And then it's just Noel, Hope, Des, Seth, Peace, Solo and I. It's like nothing because they're little kids too. Seth is learning how to cook pizza. Oh, <laughs> just be thankful you're not invited over tonight. How do you even help that, you know? When you got some good sauce on your finger. Here you go, man. <laughs> Wipe them up. <laughs> Tell me if you agree. I feel like sourdough sucks you in. Then once you're on that train, you can't get off. We're, we had sourdough bread for breakfast. We're having sourdough pizza for dinner. We're having sourdough bagels for lunch tomorrow. I feel like if I hop off the train, I'm like literally hopping off. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take a week off and put my starter in the fridge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is definitely like you keep it going and then you got all the extras and you're like, what can I do with it? And then, Suddenly you're doing everything sourdough. <laughs> it's good though, it's good to have the bagels homemade because we usually buy them and they're way, way tastier. I tried one. Oh my goodness, it is so good. And it was very easy, it wasn't hard. What is your funny problem? What's your funny problem? <laughs> All right, so the thinnest crust one worked the best. This one I had to piece together a little bit because I did it a lot thicker. This one I did a lot thicker and I had a hard time baking. I had to bake it quite a bit more, and then it fell apart when I took it off. But it has made a really good appetizer, <laughs> so it's all good. I had plenty of discard to mess with, so it's just basically a waste of seasonings. <laughs> okay, we're about to find out if this is any good. What do you guys think? Is it going to be good? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oops, can't vlog and cut at the same time. Looks like the crust still got soggy. Lisa warned me, but it's good. It's still good. We don't mind a little soggy crust, do we? Mommy. She said if you do Alfredo sauce crust, it doesn't get soggy. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa it's gonna be hot. <laughs> Pizza is delicious. Oh, good. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, Eli's trying to eat today. That's a good sign. I'm trying another. Here's that process before it's baked. Um, it kind of bakes right in there because it's preheated. The, the pan's really hot. The reason I know I'll make this one again is because A, they all love it and are asking for it again, even though it didn't turn out perfectly, like some of the crust. And then um, B, it is zero prep work. As long as you have starter, you can make it, I mean, within half an hour, that's a winner. I've made pizza crust that takes all day, and days, actually, to sit in the fridge. Okay, here, let me help you. This dog has gotten to clean up a couple messes today. That's why we keep her around, right, Nessa? <laughs> Thank you, Nessa. Hey, what else is saving my life right now is a clean sink as much as possible while I'm baking. I just wash everything right away. Makes all the difference in the world. We do zones in our house, so each of our kids have a certain chore that they do for a long period of time, like a year even. And my eight-year-old recently got uh, loading the dishwasher. I am taking over washing the big pots and pans. So she's still kind of learning. She picked it. She really wanted to do it. She does a great job, but she's also still learning, and it can be a lot. So I rinse the dishes for her a lot of times before she loads. So a lot of the sink is my responsibility, which is why it's helping me a lot to just keep it clean as much as possible. You would think just doing it right after each meal would be enough, but no, when you have 13 people and you're baking stuff and making things throughout the day, that sink can fill up quickly many times throughout the day. So I find that keeping it cleaned out and even shining makes a world of difference. This pops right out. Okay, I got some pizza made for the big kids. They're coming home at midnight tonight. Cannot wait to see them. Got some bowls out for my sourdough that will go in the fridge overnight to bulk ferment, I think it's called. I know metal's not the best, but one day I'm gonna go to a thrift store. I'm gonna get out of this house one day and I will buy some glass bowls. Otherwise, I got everything basically cleaned back up. Some dough rising there. Some leftovers for the birds. Solo's fixing the freezer. I think I said that earlier. It has too much ice in it. It needs to be totally cleaned out, but we have a little too much stuff in it to do that right now. <laughs> you know, we bought it from, uh, cons what do they call those stores? The salvage warehouse, whatever it is. Yeah. It was a, such a good deal, <laughs> but... Well, I think it got opened a couple times, not closed well, which has happened to our other freezers too. It's not self-defrosting. <laughs> oh boy, 
<laughs> so much for my clean garage. Also, let me show you this. On their plane. This is, it. This is the cat area. <laughs> Multi-purpose. I had a box, a bed for them, but they didn't care for it. They sleep up on a corner of a mattress that was now theirs. And these guys, they're playing costumes out here, which is great for me. Because they're going to clean up when they're done. Right, guys? Yeah. Yes. What? <laughs> I heard that. No. No, but no. If you don't clean up, man, that stuff is going to the curb. Mom, All those you mean, costumes. Mom, this Wait, Mom. Did me two years ago. Now it fits peace. What? That's crazy. No, I think that one's the bigger dress. I know. Anyway, they're having a good time out here. The bigger one. It's nice to have another place to play. Oh, she's waiting to <laughs> be Mom, dressed. Oh, beautiful. Wow, peace. They dress you well. Tori, are you feeling better? A little, yes. Oh, that's good. You guys not. We're excited to see the big kids tonight. Are yeah. you? <laughs> it's, well. <laughs> it's been nice and quiet without them. Who's is that? It's, can be yours. Desi said it's hers. No, oh, it can be hers too. Uh, I want it to be on my mind. Oh, well, you could share it. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> That's a bumpy ride. I don't know if you can tell, but she has a grin from ear to ear. She's so happy. It's been very weird having four less kids here. It feels like such a small family with seven children. Such a small family. And then with Tori and Eli down, it's been just extra quiet. It has been extra quiet. Very quiet. A little cleaner. Yes. I don't know how that is. That the house is cleaner with the older kids gone. Yeah, how is that? Maybe the little kids, they have little their messes are smaller. <laughs> <laughs> they play outside more. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, it, it'll all change tonight at midnight or 1 a.m. when they all come home. We'll be happy to have them home, though. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you have a great day, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. See you guys. It's curled up. It's curled up. It's curled up. What are you saving that worm for? Bait. Bait. Mm -hmm.